My lightsaber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's... well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. She is a threat to us. I am not asking that she be harmed or interrogated, but she is of the Sith and she has attacked us once.
Yes, General? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I... I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. The scars are many and the cause is equally so. It is of no importance. I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. I felt you heard you through the force it was like a sound at the edge of hearing and when I heard it I found I could not ignore it I serve my master I am an emissary a scout my master was aware of a disturbance in the force but was unaware of its nature of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels, until he calls for me, even if I could lead you to my master. I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. If I bring you before my master untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me, and I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I cannot, I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed. Now that I have found you, I cannot sacrifice what I have found. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. There's a... a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the Force. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The Force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great, 
and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left, only me. He cannot deny his hunger for long, and any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He cannot deny his hunger for long. And, and now that... Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say. But it is not something I have observed, or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. It is not a subject which I have spoken of. The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits dead in space, but nothing lives on its surface. It echoes, but there's no one left to hear it. I've heard tales of Malachor. It is said that many of my people felt the end of the Mandalorian Wars from across the galaxy. But do not mistake me. I did not mean to draw comparisons between Qatar and Malachor. My homeworld still exists. It is intact. I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished, it was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. I imagine there are worse deaths, worse pain. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If... Perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there... Lying in the bodies of my race, he took me for his own. And he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy. And I wished to die. To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, 
was nothing but crude matter, rock, flesh, emptiness. He showed the flickering of life on other planets. The mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy. To see such creatures, disconnected from themselves, their world, their place in it, unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them. He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced me the galaxy, all life, must die. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and in its place, he left silence. And where there was chaos, he brought stillness and order. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not, and my master has his. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same, the death of all Jedi, everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I will answer what I can. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the Force as I once did. But after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident, both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. Says 
you are worthy enough to face champions. You may fight in the battle circle again. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long way. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item. and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission for a Mandalorian. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. Lucky, but you're a lot tougher than you look. 
Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. He is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
think you were the only ones with stealth generators, did you? up the mess. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are. The city of Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Yeah, what do you want? The Republic is a 
stagnant beasts that have been killing its people for years before the wars began. Were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? We'd never faced Jedi before and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? War breeds butchers on both sides of the battle lines, Jedi. You know it better than anyone. It's just that we were better at it than anyone the Jedi ever faced. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clan. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic. With the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? Just think about it. Now is there something else you needed? I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. I will help you fight your battles and plan your strategy. But I will not be your errand boy. Find some other lackey to do your bidding. Now is there something else you needed? Yes, General. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Could be. Now space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaklu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. Certainly. Mind what I said about the starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the starport. I can't believe the Republic assaulted our space force. General Vaclu is royalty too. I know a lot of people who wish he was king. 
Offworlder, is it too much to hope that you are a Talonian merchant? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the Athorians brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements prospered. But now. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark times, and tensions run high in the streets. These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels we have stopped. I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. What? Run! The bomber is out of control! to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beast grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or cargo, and your ship is obviously not affiliated with the Republic. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while.
General Vaklu was an underground resistance leader during the Mandalorian occupation. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for ISIS Calm. You're a Republic spy and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, sir, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I I'm just a journalist, not a spy. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men! Let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you. You should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. It disgusts me how many soldiers in other commands are willing to put aside their sworn I'm Captain Galisi, Offworlder. If you want to pass here, I'll need to see your starport visa. Everything seems in order. You're cleared to go. There are reports of Republic smugglers arming dissidents in the city. Checkpoints have been set up throughout the city to prevent more civil disturbances. There are two types of starport visas. The type you have is an individual visa. Good for just you and any pre-registered staff and family that accompany you. The Office of Immigration also issued open visas. Because of the Republic attacks, General Vaklu just announced that the Office of Immigration has been shut down. There have been a lot of edicts since the Republic launched an unprovoked attack on our space forces. No one can get starport visas anymore. Listen, I wouldn't mind letting some of these unfortunates through, but regs are regs. Besides, some of my troops would like nothing more than to get rid of me to earn favor with General Vaklu. Any officer loyal to the Queen has found life increasingly difficult. So far, all the officers in the Merchant Quarter are still royalists, but many of our troops think Vaklu is right. I think he's right too, but he should respect the Queen's orders. But if I break any of Vaklu's orders, I fear some of my men wouldn't wait for my court-martial. The Republic and the Jedi brought many wars to our planet. Things were far simpler and safer when we were independent. General Vaklu keeps pressuring the Queen to listen to the will of the people and secede from the Republic. But Queen Talia is staunchly in favor of the Republic. There are reports of Republic smugglers arming dissidents in the city. There are two types. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I've told you our story. Please. Won't you help us? My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen, the conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. 
You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. I only know of one person who might offer something comparable. And what's going on there is illegal. I'm a legitimate trader, so there's no risk. There's only one thing ultimately more important than money, and that's your life. She's trouble. I wouldn't deal with her. I want nothing to do with her. If you want to get involved with that sort of person, you'll have to figure it out on your own. No, I don't think so. It's really very simple. We don't have anything more to talk about, unless you get an extra visa. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiell recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiell said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the Beast Riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, Beast Cages are filling up the streets of Isis. That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city. And for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of your arms. Lethal, and skin like ferrosteel plates. Somehow the Beast Riders figured out how to tame them years ago. That's a long story. You sure you have the time? Most people don't care for an old soldier spinning a tale or two. Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen and finally there was peace between our people. It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel and Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some... disagreements. I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson and I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times and it's not long before you're a civilian. The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Gizka around here. They breed like mad. Stay out of trouble.
please tell me you're an off-worlder? You came from the spaceport, right? But this is good news! You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Uh, pretend he isn't here. General Vaklu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. Uh, they've had to get arms from somewhere. <laughs> Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. <laughs> and now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but <laughs> it's a wise policy. <laughs> of course, soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclo! Oh, everything is great here. We're all very happy. So oh, very happy. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. These are dangerous times. If I speak more right now, the soldiers will arrest me. Perhaps they... We're going to have to find another source of cheap fuel now that the Argus is done. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we can talk. Kawanabota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora. Yasora Ku Tuka Ulwanji Yumalifa. Shanek Ma Winbok Lelenko Sobaramwe. Dahupa Bosa Kurata Go Jujutu Yoki. Hiata Yamba Wajiaki Yukito Tune. Kavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Yuma. Mogachi Norta Hirembe Wanachi. Kaki Mogo Grabo. Drum Pabanakaras Mangra. Kalalava Dumba Kumpaile Mokata. Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamadura. Tayaita Ta Bosananansata. Kawana Bota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora. Yasora Ku Tuka Ulwanji Yuma Lifa. Shanek Ma Winbok Lelenko Sobaramwe. Kavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Yuma. Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamadura. Tayaita Ta Bosananansata. Fereki mangra do no coherete, jun sombo marampi no su clala so buto, Cristo juventisime soto. Taracho mo sincho cava volpa muligi, gumana minta barawamba, miche dos! Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatura, tayaita, ta bosananansata. On dollar no saka, drum pabanakaras mangra. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Yasora ku tuka ulwanji yuma lifa. Shanek ma winbok lelenko sobaramwe. Variki, mangra, do cha, screeni do pat. Slime nun kwa hiriti, kriskorcha winti se mesoto. 
Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansa ta. Da wancha mori konsova. Ma wani din chori kit sodu sobarenwa. Dorchine soba wata. Unta chiwita inka kikraya na chawanga kone. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yu malithwa. Shanek ma winbok lelenko sobaramwe. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yukito tune. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. I I will I will not. My cause is just. The queen must bow to our will. My head everyone Everyone stop now. I will go quietly. You continually amaze me. A lot of people would have been hurt. Or worse. I don't know what you did, but thank you, Offworlder. That was too close for me. These are dangerous times. People like... Sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, Offworlder. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. I am Captain Bastuko. I have served loyally in the Onderon military for 20 years. 20 years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian War. Right. I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world, and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for ten years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. Such of you could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the Resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. The Wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon Wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the Wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are worthy of it. I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. 
I received an order, and I carried it out. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. I'm the one in charge here, Offworlder. If you try to get past me, then you'll have the entire Isis garrison on you in seconds. There's no chance of that, Offworlder. The palace is locked down tight, and only authorized personnel are allowed in. Tinachara, Kranacha, Ganoiso, Totoranoka, Terando Nashwi Wanahoto, Rakichi San, Donacinto Norokipa Shakani, Rakichi San, Donacinto Norokipa Shakani, Dakosha, Nichotono, Punta Chakorzo Waman, Gotashjuna Rananashani, Visitisa Cholo, Jumkarantaka, Chonobograwe, Katiya Bahasanchan, Honka Kilikun. <laughs> Some of those alien thugs had a go at you, right? I, um... I don't want to cross you. I am 1B-18, an automated droid vendor. I have in stock a variety of quality droid components. No refunds and no haggling. Do you have any interest in my goods? One B A D cells droid component. Certainly, one B A D. That information is restricted. Sorry, my. Mem Certainly. Let's go. I am one B A. Reinitializing complete. Greetings. Do you have any interest in my goods? 1B-AD was built and programmed by Tolos the Trader. 1B-AD was built to buy droid components for below base cost value and sell components based on most favorable market conditions. Do you have any interest in my goods? That goes against my primary behavior programming. All items must be sold based on the most favorable market conditions. 1B-AD cannot haggle. This is also a part of my primary behavior matrix. 
1 BAD was built in pro- This is Dagon Ghent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. He's certainly capable of it, and probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him. Suspicion of murder or not. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. We were together at Malachor. I don't know if anyone else could understand. You getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? You just have to know what the circuits look like. I'll be sure to do that, General. Was there something you wanted me for? Credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. Donos Emeragith, Wanara Gorachi Drunka, Sa in Chobin Sasha, Dosimana Rochata. Dawa Bomababe want to susin to mukarata. To aspect to Natada Bear Mabar Chokto, to renewable into Rata CC Maboro Kra. Tonoranga Manakan, Tonorang. Loka Kamaran and Doso ran with no chabi. Do Rantamana Sobu. In Wamagro, May Rangana Noruta. Sinta Tita Prom. Eh, 
Kawanabota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosanan ansata. Chone mulera. Ton kinge bano jansa ka nikaraska. Tancha nikt mauimbo kranta mi pilan. Munga chinor ta imbrei wanachike. Drumba bambua. Conti chan munka. Kava dumba kuswaka ta yamukata. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosanan ansata. Tonghi te mosi jochia yumba dita wa e bawa tun. Munga chinor ta imbrei wanachike. Drumba bambua. Conti chan munka. Kava dumba kuswaka ta yamukata. Munga chinor ta imbrei wanachike. Drumba bambua. Conti chan munka. Kava dumba kuswaka ta yamukata. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita ta bosanan ansata. I've been all over the galaxy and this... There's got to be something you need. Something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high quality unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal. Something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open starport visa. I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I want to talk to you about anyway. Don't worry what I'll do with a visa. Maybe I'll just take a vacation. Maybe I just want to visit my mother on Nar Shaddaa. Decent citizens like you really don't want to know what I'm going to do with it. You have an honest face. I will answer your question. I need to transport permacrete explosives for the exchange. They're going to use it to take care of some competition and some local authorities. Permanently. Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open starport visa. No visa, no crystal. Because we'll trade them simultaneously. And if you aren't satisfied with your payment, I'll let you switch it for something else. I don't want to cross a Jedi. It's a small universe. I don't really care about the trouble that's behind you or ahead of you. We have exactly one thing we can talk about. Starport visas. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? That's the first good news I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starport visas. After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak, and the cost of the Jedi Order was staggering. This entire region is unstable, and the entire Republic government could collapse. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow, and that can't be allowed to happen. 
Trade between our worlds has brought economic prosperity, and people just take it for granted. All worlds are now interconnected. The Senate also smooths over differences, and is a great instrument for peace. If the Republic falls apart, a thousand little wars born out of petty rivalries will erupt over time. Eventually, the entire galaxy could be thrown into a dark age. I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Vaklu. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. A civil war is brewing, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention, but there are many freighters bound for Telos. What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Ghent didn't do it because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now, he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage. Let's say assisting a Republic spy. Then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen, which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. Nice to meet you, Sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game at Bazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing on the negative is no way for a gamblet to live.
Vishunko, Jova, Ninja, Jimba, Taxi, Tre, Juju, Zi, Juju, Pitie, Prim, Taba, Nin, Soju. We don't say crate, Roto, Da, Da, Jala, Wara, Kunza, Zoto, Chuba, Tone, King, Chuba, Mi, Zoko, Goche, Tichike, Chusu, Mogo, Tabra, Grabe, Chusa, Kren, Yi, Wite, Hong, Doga, Kuriko, Asoto, E, Ring, E, Free, Te, De, Ducha, Mor, Samba, Sugna, Kapla, Wie, Tinya, Tal, Chiro, Runta, Gansa. Croton Oranga Manatandi Gro Nunch Tanto Todos Dumu Karata Me Ranga Naroto Dosima Narachata Minsukrema Sukunra Tungala Me Rontono Junsara Karoto Minsukun Rakawata Poendo Ratamana Sobu Minsukrema Sukunra Tungala me rontono junsa raka roto. Minsu kun raka wata. Poendo rakta mana sobu. Kroto no ranga mana tandi groto. Mopi una wana si chin si wano bosh. Nunchka wana si cho rana pa manga kan. Mopi da wacho si mukchuto. Bosa non ci rinta ma su king gura wanka. Bosa non ci sono mi karanga do mai chonga. Tu es recto na tu in su la raka raka chan. In su krei ma su kun batunga la. Me rontono jun sa raka roto. Min su kun raka wata. Po endo rakta mana sobu. Kroto no ranga mana tandi groto. Mo pi una wana si chin si wano bosh. Kroto no ranga mana tandi groto. Mo pi una wana si chin si wano bosh. Aramontok tu muka rachukorak. Kroon kan wana machi nito rabanaka. Dosi morna ra racha. Gona chi drum paba nakaras. Por nacho ni sopa maranka do risa vota. Ko wana me, sucha to la bache. Doci no mas runta, ragi ichi sa? Kava dunpe masura ku, popa yi botenya, tache morota gamsa. Javas kobo sabjo, riji so karwe nokso, mochi toza sa grindeyo. Kretch, mizoto minaka de sama krema kratch vituto, vataro ze zon mama. Potaka chi bintano, verega chocha herembe, so bo rama hota wata kan. Jun sobe me rapa, no kuma randisa makchiksa, kucha bak tong kinka mata kata, chopa wanga kun not ka yutka kes. Da hupo bote nyo go jucho picha, wem taba ni sochu, norotoga poto lala shishi, jula dosa jiba cha, ratak mansan, dokosha na chitolo. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi bote nyo, tache morota gamsa, javas gobo sabjo, riji so karwe nokso, mochi toza sa grindeyo. This room is reserved, off-worlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. This room is reserved. 
I suggest you leave the room, Offworlder. I've got all the fans I need right here. So go space yourself. Sam mogo dosi še ba dente skun mostovi gita javač, piktarešan, bram tava ni soču. Da kome džus mak miki baranje to so so rika čundi, ona ma grable mogo. Ja tuka u wan rika čotin wani ma orata wakata ači luma lizba. Kava dumpa, mo vendido čokerem bi norta kunjun viš čava kačuba, sura da či moru tuko ganca.
Thank <laughs> you.